Hello, I'm Dr. Ogilvie, and I'm going to go through the uh, different exams or quizzes that we have in the course. Now, this is a test course, and this is actually not your current uh, Blackboard course website. But what I've created is uh, you know, an a, uh, example of the different quizzes uh, in the course and exams. So by scrolling down through, you can see the uh, syllabus course schedule quiz and the practice quizzes that are composed of all the questions after the lectures and the mandatory lab quiz uh, one and then the module uh, one exam part A, part B and then here's uh, the final exam will have three parts A, B and C. Now uh, all these exams or quizzes except for the final exam when you access the quiz or exam all the questions were delivered at once and so you can scroll up and down through them. However, on the final exam, you will only have one question at a time and you will not be able to backtrack. So it will be a little more challenging exam. It's worth uh, one-fifth of your grade, 200 points. And uh, <clears throat> so just kind of mentally prepare for that. And during the course, if you are very diligent and you study, you will do well on the final, but if not, then you just might not do as well. So again, the final will be a little more challenging. Just uh, prepare during the course for that. Okay, so I am actually logged in as a student, so I'm going to click on the syllabus course schedule quiz, uh, quiz that some of you have already taken. Now this is not the identical one you're taking, but this shows you the interface. Every quiz or exam will have a description and instructions. Make sure you read that very well. It will tell you whether the test is timed and will tell you if you have multiple attempts. In this exam, you have no multiple attempt. You can save this if you stay in the time uh, allocated for the uh, quiz or exam. In this case, you can save it and resume later. And uh, as long as your answers are saved, you can kind of just resume to where you left off. But if you run out of time, remember the time is going to still be clicking while you are in there. So uh, the first thing I always do or recommend to students is uh, look over here, save all answers, save and submit, uh, note that, and then uh, do this drop down menu, which shows a little a box for each of the questions. You can actually jump around in the test, like question 12, or go back to question 1. Now, when you um, uh, choose an answer, like uh, say this was the uh, uh, correct, uh, these are the correct answers uh, for this. I'm not saying they are, but let's say those four were the correct ones. And if you wait just uh, a few seconds, you will see over here the answer will be saved. And it's saved automatically we do not recommend that you click after you answer a question and you click here save answer don't do that because it brings up another dialog box it's about the same amount of time and it could toss you out of the test so just wait until it's saved you can always uh, click on save all answers like this but it does bring up a uh, dialog box so I think you can pretty well trust that when you once you click on the answers will be saved. So you can keep track of the time. You will get a warning when it's uh, uh, you know close to the end. It's up here when half the time, five minutes, one minute, and thirty seconds. Now it's very important when you finish a quiz or an exam that you save and submit it because that's the only way it will be graded. If you don't do that. It's going to still stay open, but you won't be able to answer any questions after the exam is over. That is, the time limit is passed, but it'll just be sitting there. You won't be able to see the score in my grades. You won't be able to review the results. Not until you contact us, and then we have to go in, and we have to submit it for you. So once again, always save and submit it. So I'm going to pause this, and then we're going to look at a couple more uh, sample uh, exams, the module exams. Oh, there's uh, one more thing that I want to show you before I go out of this. When you finish an exam, you can either go at the bottom you've, if you're the last question, or you can do it at the top also, save and submit, as I just pointed out. So I'm going to click on save and submit, and so it will tell me which questions are missed, but I didn't answer every question, so I'm going to go ahead. And once I do that, 
then I can actually click down here and review review the results and when I do that you see I, I see which ones I got right or wrong and I see how many points I got for each question so you can do that each time and then you can also go to my grades uh, so now we're going to go and look at a couple other exams okay let's open up the mandatory lab quiz one and uh, again you look at the instructions it tells you it's a time limit of 30 minutes it can be saved and submit automatically that is when the timer goes out all the questions will be saved and the exam submitted automatically now we have found that this doesn't always work so always always save and submit your exam when it's over and uh, and again you can go out and come back in and it allows multiple attempts now so if I begin the exam and again I'll read the instructions and I'm also kind of this is open so I can see there are 14 questions but now uh, the, some of the questions are related to virtual slide and some to web mic now for the virtual slide ones if I scroll down here and I see a link a JPEG image link and I click on it then it will open in another tab or if you have your browser set to open in a new window then um, there will be your image and you look at that so you can either set it up to open in another window or uh, in another tab and then examine it and come back and answer the question now uh, in this case you could actually right click and open in a new window which we just did uh, but on your real graded exams we have a script that prevents you from copying printing uh, the exam or the questions so you won't be able to right click you will have to just left click on that and like I say set your browser open in a new window or not now for the virtual slides you see you have special instructions and you're told that any quiz or exam that has virtual slides in it you open a new window by clicking on this URL if you have it set for a new window or it a, and I have it set for a tab and then you click on classroom and then you put in your login which in this case is vslides uh, at lab quiz one you will be given a unique login for each quiz and exam for virtual slides and then I put the password in and once I do that and then I click on the lab specimens and then I have to go down here and click on the virtual slides and now I have all of the slides for that particular quiz now I can go back to the question and question one is about a virtual slide because it says so here and once I do that then I go to either the window or the tab and click on the virtual slide now when I do that in my laptop which is a new Dell laptop it only takes three to five seconds but this takes a little longer on my desktop and then you always click on the radio button here because if there's arrows letters or something like two lines it says choose the correct identification of the tissues between the two lines then uh, you, you've got to click on that in order to see what we're asking about you can increase the magnification and this may take about 10 seconds now if your browser freezes just go up and do, use the refresh button up here and uh, then once you in the ma mandatory lab quizzes we're trying to help you out so we will actually have a link here show answer it doesn't actually give you the answer to the question but it helps you understand the reasoning that would lead you to the uh, correct answer so this is a way of of assessing your lab work and getting you to think about what you've learned uh, and so it's a it's, we, we found and the students have found in, in the last semester was a very useful thing so that's the way you do the virtual slides now when you're navigating within a virtual slide uh, uh, collection for the quizzes and you want to go to the next question then you say okay I'm going to do question two okay two nuclei of the same type etc etc then I'll go back here and instead of clicking next slide go back to the previous menu lab quiz one and then when we found out here that that's the same specimen so let's go to another specimen question three always navigate between the virtual slides 
by uh, not next slide or previous slide, but going back here and then choosing the one for specific for that. And this is question three. So uh, that's about the uh, end of this um, uh, presentation, but there's just one more thing. I'm going to pause and set it up and and just uh, show you the, uh, uh, the the model of the exam, the, the module exam and the final exam, okay? Uh, but again, just before I leave this, remember you're not going to see any arrows or letters or indication of what's being asked about unless you click on this little round icon to the left of the question. Always, always do that. Because uh, students have emailed and said, I can't see the arrows and letters. Well, that's usually the reason why. Okay. So now here's an example like Module 1, Exam Part A. When it shows up, your first module exam would be part A and part B. That's what you're going to see. What you should do is read the description of the exam you're going to access before you click on it. And then, of course, you click to begin. And once again, you just go through the process and, uh, and make sure that this is exposed. If it's like that, click this down. Note your time. Remember about, you know, clicking on an answer and then it, it was saved right away. So I'm going to go back out of this because I want to show uh, another process. So uh, module one, uh, part exam part B. Now again, this is going to have virtual slides in it. So I just told you how to do that. Now this is a separate login and a different password. So you're going to want to open up a new window or a new tab and uh, and go according to what we just described. So we're going to go back out of this and I'm going to pause this for a moment because so the last thing I'm going to show you is the final exam. <clears throat> I'm not going through the exam per se but just to say when it appears it will be a final exam part A lecture topic questions Final exam part B, web mic questions, and final exam part C, virtual slide questions. So these are only on lecture topics. These are only on web mic and link questions, and these are virtual slide questions. Now I'm going to click on the first one because it's going to show you what it looks like when the questions are delivered only one at a time with no backtracking allowed. So I click on begin, and you see there's one question. Now when you to go to the next question, Say I answer this question, and I'll just put this whether it's right or not, and I wait and make sure that the answer is saved, which only takes a little bit, and you can actually be reviewing the question while that occurs. And so there it's saved. Now if I want to go to the next question, I click on the right arrow. Now it kind of jumps down a little bit in my browser, maybe it won't in yours, but you just scroll down and then deal with that question, etc., etc. Now until you get to question 73 which really will not allow you to uh, go that you will at the very end when you get to question 73 it will have the save and submit but it will force you to interact with every question in order before you get to the last question which again save and submit will show up here so uh, I'm going to pause this and maybe I'll think of one more thing to tell you but I think that that pretty much gives you the whole picture. So in summary I've shown you the course schedule quiz. I showed you what it looks like when you're getting all questions at one time and that would be true of the course schedule quiz. The module electric quiz was a practice, no grade recorded uh, and the mandatory lab quiz will be all at once and uh, your module exam part A and part B for every module exam will the questions all delivered one at, uh, completely uh, all questions at once not one at a time but your final exam will be one at a time and the ones that are graded are the for your grade syllabus course schedule mandatory lab quiz your module quizzes or exams and the final exam so good luck and I hope this has been helpful